You might be questioning why I'm wearing this for the intro of a video. Well, today we have breaking news about Meta and LG Electronics working together to create the new Apple Vision Pro competitor. But what does that actually mean for mixed reality? Or should I say spatial computing? Bruh. Let's dive into it in this video. This month, we saw the well-anticipated launch of the Apple Vision Pro. It's rumored that they managed to sell over 200,000 units, which side note, at a price point of 3,500, that's this many zeros. It's undeniable that the Apple Vision Pro's hardware and ergonomic design is truly amazing. But the Apple Vision Pro might have the hardware to compete in the game, but compared to a device like the Quest 3, it's actually way less capable of playing XR and VR games than it is cheaper devices. A lot of people were put off by the large price point, but one amazing takeaway from virtual re- I mean spatial computing community, is how the public perception has changed about mixed reality and the AR market. The media has gone absolutely crazy over this product. Good news stories, bad news stories, but Apple did what Apple does best and they marketed this thing to everyday consumers. Anybody in the space knows the potential of this technology and why mixed reality and spatial computing is so important. But I feel socially many people who weren't in the space are starting to realize the potential of this tech and what it actually means for our children's future. Now we've seen mixed reality for a little while. The Quest Pro, the HoloLens, and even the MetaQuest 3. And as cool as all of these devices are, the Vision Pro's hardware is just unmatched for augmented reality. Apple worked directly with Sony to produce micro 4K OLED displays to bring the most high quality and vibrant colors possible to their displays. 4K micro OLED technology is actually really interesting. Due to the precision, it's very hard to manufacture in large quantities. So if Sony's own PSVR 2, TV lines, and even their new mixed reality project coming, it's safe to say that they probably have their hands full when it comes comes to distributing micro OLED displays. But what's really interesting is that almost every brand that sells OLED TVs buy their OLED panels from LG Displays, a sister company of LG Electronics. Which of course brings us to what we mentioned at the beginning of this video. Meta has now officially publicly signed and established a deal with LG Electronics to produce next gen XR device. This is without a doubt a strategic collaboration to compete with the Apple Vision Pro. With many speculating we could be seeing a Quest Pro 2. Here is what a spokesperson said from LG. LG envisions that by bringing together Meta's platform with its own content service capabilities from its TV business, a distinctive ecosystem can be forged in the XR domain, which is one of the company's new business areas. Moreover, the fusion of Meta's diverse core technology elements with LG's cutting edge product and quality capabilities promise significant synergies in next gen XR device development could indicate that they plan to bring TV smart apps into the next generation of XR development. With companies like Netflix and Spotify pulling releases from the Vision Pro, this could give the Quest Pro 2 or whatever the device is called a competitive advantage against the Vision Pro when it comes to media consumption in XR, which of course was one of Apple's main focuses when marketing the Vision Pro. So although right now it's unclear how the branding's gonna work, whether it's gonna be LG focused or meta focused, or whether it's even gonna be the Quest Pro 2. All we know right now is that they came to an agreement behind closed doors, and we expect to see this Apple Vision Pro competitor from Meta and LG Electronics the first half of 2025. And there's another report from somebody who predicted the collaboration saying that the device coming from the two companies is expected to be around $2,000. It's important to mention that this this collaboration marks an interesting rivalry between three companies, Apple and Sony, Google and Samsung, and now of course LG and Meta, who are all getting into 
the mixed reality and VR space. So my question to you is, what features need to be in this device to compete with the Apple Vision Pro? Leave it in the comments and subscribe for VR, AR, mixed reality, spatial computing and tech news. I appreciate you. Have a fantastic day and peace.